everybody. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to On the Road again with G Web. It's about 9:20 in the morning on Monday, the 29th of uh, March, and today is a very, very special birthday. A special day for a special guy. I want to say happy birthday to my eldest son, my eldest son, my eldest grandchild, Dr. DJ. Oh man, I, I'm proud of you. You are five years old. It's amazing how time is. Yeah. It's amazing how time is uh, flown on us. I see something going bad right there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm still got my oversized load, but yeah. Yeah, I'll stay put. Yeah, I'll stay put. And uh, well, I just wanted to tell you happy birthday, my man. I love you. I miss you dearly. They have me on the East Coast right now as soon as I can. I'll be I'm trying to get back through there. Uh, but Pop Pop, love you. You and you too, Bonnie, but today is DJ's day. I love you guys. I'll talk to you all later. I already talked to you this morning. But I just want to tell you on, on, uh, on, on so you can see it on TV. I love you. Happy birthday. Have a great, great day, my man. Well, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. We're heading to Virginia. We got a little bit of a late start this morning. We called our customer and found out who our the receiver, the Cosani, how do you want to see it? Find out that um, this load that this, these loads were supposed to be pushed back. Or uh, yeah, pushed back to another day, probably the end of the week or first of next week. So they're trying to figure out a way to squeeze us in and get us unloaded. Maybe this afternoon or first thing uh, tomorrow morning. Either way, I go. I've, I've already been on a side for my next load because we don't know. So we got that going on. We found out at about seven this morning. We didn't leave till about eight fifteen because we going. We were like I said, we were in uh, Kenley, North Carolina, and um, we still had those three hundred miles, two hundred seventy, two hundred eighty miles to go up to up to uh, DC. So we decided. It was decided, and we decided we were going to go ahead and head towards Virginia and that'll give it three hours for them to figure out what they were going to do. That way, if they decide to take us today, we're already up there. We got, if there's a curfew in D.C., uh, we can't go in there after three o'clock with an oversized load. So, we need to be leaving anyway to get up there. So, we just want to make sure we're close. So I dispatch said we're to do the same thing, so we're all on the same page anyway. So we left a little later than we should have. We left about that, not should have. We could have left at 7 o'clock, but we didn't leave till 8.15. And, um, but it's all good. It's all good. It's a nice morning. Good morning. I'm a praise and worship already, so I'm, I'm in a good mood, better mood. Got my, got my day going like I want it. And, um, speed up a little bit here so I can make a pass to you guys. But anyway, um, we'll see what the rest of the day bring. This go here on this, this particular drop. You all seen before. If I can show you there, my unloading, unloading the beam, my wheel, like I did on the time when they were loading, loading it. That that uh, bear top still. My apologies, I got some things going on in front of me. I'm trying to concentrate on. But uh, y'all be good for now. And we'll talk at you in a little bit. YouTube, how you doing? It's uh, 5 o'clock on Monday, the 29th. Well, the day's turned out to be, I don't know. It is what it is. Like I said earlier in the video, these loads were, can were supposed to be canceled or rescheduled and weren't. So, like always, drivers and at the bottom of that hill so everything that goes wrong at the top eventually comes down to us and they hit us worse because this pay week is going to be awful because these things will they will not to the, 
deliver until at the earliest Wednesday. That don't mean that we deliver Wednesday, that's just the earliest they can be delivered. So we dropped our loads over at the Lady Smith Rest area, which I don't like so much only because, I don't know, I, I just don't like leaving oversized loads anywhere. Anyway, I'm heading to a hotel. I'm gonna see what this hotel is about. Um, but I'm just not gonna stay in the truck tonight and tomorrow night. Just can't, you know, and possibly one more night. So I don't know. I, I can't stay in the truck like that. This truck, anyway. Maybe if I had a bigger sleeper, I would. Maybe. But anyway. Um, so, but it, it goes into the next pay week. Today is the end of the payday, pay week. And if I got it delivered tomorrow, I could have put it on this one. And, but I may not get another run for this week. So I'm kind of stuck between the rock and the hard place. I'll get it figured out. It's no big deal. You know, it is what it is. I'm just a little perturbed because we always the ones that get, we get blamed for everything. And then we take the, we take the, take the, bl the brunt of everything as well. When somebody mess up, be it the customer, the the, 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 uh, the shipper, which I think is between them two that messed up messed it up. Because we don't we don't go pick up a load unless it's scheduled by the the receiver through the shipper that they that the receiver wants it. So it's miscommunication between them. We don't go and pick up Jack un until it said, hey on the load. So we, we don't make those decisions. We all just go pick up all willy and and go deliver. So, but it's the driver that gets hurt behind there because now I'm going to have, if we deliver Wednesday, I'm going to have five days in a $1,300 load. But normally we have two, maybe two and a half with a backhaul on the way back. You know, so within five days, you know, it, it, it's, it's not... It's an it's a average week, you know, because our, our back hauls have lately been around, you know, between nine and eleven hundred dollars. So, you know, we, we make it, you know, it's an average week for us, but it's okay because the run is not bad. And I'm home for a 34 hour recess, so I can't really complain, you know. But I'm not trying to tell anybody what I make, it's just what this run is. Um, but so I'm a little perturbed with it. You know, I got some things I'm trying to take care of pretty quick. I'm just like, you know, as a driver, we get hurt. It hurts us the fastest. You know, and you know, but if anything went wrong with this load or whatever, we get blamed for it. You know, nothing went wrong with this load. So, you know, we didn't. It wasn't supposed to be delivered and all that kind of stuff. But we hurt from it pay wise. I don't know, so you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not. I don't let it get me down. I'm just, just venting, I guess. Just venting. Anyway, I'm gonna get ahead and look at this hotel, see what it's all about. I may get back with you all. I may not. We'll see. G put out.